Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us again. We really appreciate you spending some time with us this evening. I'm Connie Maben with the new media department for the Steelworkers, and with us tonight is, is Mitch Stevens. He's the president of Union Plus. And now is a great time to talk about Union Plus because we know a lot of people are going through economic stress, uncertainty. This is a time no one ever imagined. Um, and there are lots of great benefits that Union Plus offers for steelworker members and families. So that's why we wanted to spend some time with you this evening. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, and for now, we're gonna have Mitch talk a little bit about what's available for our steelworker members. Connie, thank you so much for inviting us here tonight. Um, you know, before we jump in, I'll just take a minute and talk about uh, what Union Plus is, remind folks who we are and what we do. Um, so we were founded over 30 years ago by the AFL-CIO to provide uh, products and services and helpful benefits for union members and their families. So, um, you know, we've got products and services like uh, credit cards, insurance, uh, your mobile phone, discounts for, uh, you know, restaurants. and uh, probably really more importantly right now, we've got some hardship programs and some benefits that can help, you know, members in a, a time of need, like the moment we're in now. Great. And the moment we're in now is unprecedented with the pandemic. So, Mitch, do you mind sharing just specifically with, with us some of the specific benefits, particularly the hardship uh, benefits that are available for families during the pandemic? Yeah, I will. I mean, it's just unprecedented what we're going through right now. Um, you know, we've got you know millions of folks unemployed, uh, millions of other workers that are essential out there, putting their you know their lives on the line, doing jobs that uh, you know you, you you wouldn't have thought you know a couple of years ago that it would be a dangerous job, right? So, uh, I'll hearts really go out to the folks that are on the front lines um, that are working there, including your members. And I was just, you know, trying to put the, the 101,000 folks we've had uh, that have passed away due to COVID-19 in context. And that's, you know, that's a considered a medium-sized city, right? So mm -hmm. something like a Bend, Oregon, Davenport, Iowa, that's the equivalent of, of one of those populations. So uh, just a terrible thing. And, and the scale that what we're dealing with here is is enormous. So, uh, you know, with that, we're, we're proud to do our part. Um, you we're know, really trying to help where we can deploying what we have to offer members um, and help families get through this. So, uh, you know, on the hardship help, we really have two key programs right now that are, that are pretty relevant. We have the job loss grant um, for credit card holders, and we have the mortgage assistance program for folks that have uh, mortgages with us. So uh, these are two programs where you need to have, you know, the products, you know, through Union Plus. Um, and then you're eligible for some some grants and assistance and a job loss or a furlough uh, scenario. So, you know, so far we've had about uh, uh, 1.7 million in applications, so million uh, dollars in applications. Some members have applied uh, for that much aid uh, through these programs. On the credit card side, it's pretty straightforward. If you're uh, unemployed for 45 days, you can get, get a $300 grant. And on the mortgage side, um, you know, with the, the mortgage through Union Plus, uh, we can you know, help you pay three months worth of mortgage uh, in a loan. There's also a thousand dollar grant that goes with that. And again, that's in a, in a job loss scenario. So uh, these are some really good programs that have some real, you know, direct financial assistance for, you know, a subset of the population that can, you know, that can qualify for them. So uh, we're happy to put that out there. And like I said, it, it's, you know, um, you know, a, a, just a piece of, you know, what is needed in terms of this, you know, whole nationwide response to the, the pandemic, right? Right, and every little bit helps. I know we have a lot of steel worker families who take advantage of, of the hardship grants during job loss mm -hmm. disasters. We've had some some members who uh, unfortunately uh, were hit by dis disasters and, and Union Plus was there for them. And I think that's, I wanna pause on that and, and talk a little bit more about that before we go to the next question, because that's what makes Union Plus unique. And for those who don't know much about Union Plus or maybe haven't used any of the discounts or benefits, I think uh, what's really important and different about Union Plus is the products, the services, the discounts that you offer are really designed with working families, union families in mind. So you do things like develop the hardship programs, like if you go on strike or lockout, we'll pay your mortgage. Can you talk a little bit about just the uniqueness of being a union member product? Sure. Well, there's, uh, you know, kind of a whole theory behind the case, right? So uh, when the AFL-CIO started this, you know, I think it was 34 years ago, 
um, you know, the intent was to create benefits and services that also benefited the labor movement, right? So to the extent that you can have, um, you know, strike benefits, disaster relief funds that really come in to play when, you know, members need it. And it's the, the labor movement that's, you know, participating in that, providing it. Um, it's just a great thing to be able to do. I and mean, it's, it's one of the, the um, you know, privileges we have to work with these companies to really try to put some resources in play to help members when they need it. So, you know, you mentioned the disaster relief, like in a more, uh, you know, typical scenario for us really would be you get those FEMA declared disasters, you know, hurricane floods and so forth. And we've got some additional grants that we can help members with, uh, you know, when they're in, in one of those counties that's affected. That's typically how it's been deployed in the past couple of years. Uh, you know, some of the major strikes, so UAW had a strike this year. Verizon uh, workers had a big strike about three years ago, able to help also in those scenarios. So uh, it's just been, you know, a, a kind of a program that's set up, you know, kind of in the union family, if you will, to help union members by working with these uh, other companies to provide the benefits. Yeah, and I know it was really helpful. We had the big oil strike a few years ago, and we had several members take advantage of some of those programs during the strike. So it, it's a really great program for union members and families. And I just wanted to focus a little bit on what makes it different. Uh, so people understood that, that this is not just a typical credit card or mortgage or, or discount program. This is specifically designed for us and our families. Some of those hardship uh, assistance programs you talked about are for people who have specific products like the credit card, like the mortgage, but not all Union Plus programs work that way. Can you talk a little bit about what's available for people who may not have the credit card or the mortgage? Sure, yeah, we've really been trying to put some uh, you know, good resources out there that anyone can access. So you know, one of the things that we get to do and the role that we play is work with our providers and ask them to step up at a time like this uh, to give you know some useful information and resources to members. So uh, one that I think we've got on the screen uh, right now is about our credit counseling provider. They, they put together a webinar on how to manage your finances through a time like this. So you're, you know, many folks are in a situation where, you know, the income is reduced or the income is gone, uh, yet you still have all the bills, you still have everything that you need to pay, um, you know, that you had, you know, the previous, previous month. So how do you get through that scenario? How do you get additional help? Uh, how do you prioritize? How do you have a conversation about that? So we put that webinar uh, on our website. You can just go to the homepage and find it. And uh, it's a great it's a great resource. We really, uh, it's a lot of information to kind of throw at you in a, in a short period of time. But this is something that's been, you know, really you know, close for all of us. I mean, I think we had been doing a lot of research around emergency savings accounts and trying to encourage people to uh, budget uh, before the pandemic hit. And this really shows you, you know, kind of the importance of, of that kind of thing. So, um, you know, another example I'd give you is the legal program. So uh, our legal provider, which is MetLife, um, also really stepped up. They, they are providing a free service here through the end of July to help people with um, a consultation with a lawyer, uh, document review, and also document preparation. So, uh, you know, a couple of documents that people recommend that every, every family have are, you know, relatively simple documents like a will, a health care directive, um, power of attorney, and certainly with the COVID-19, you know, you've, I think we've all seen, you know, unfortunately, the, the you know, the reasons to have a health care directive. I mean, it's a terrible, uh, uh, you know, virus, and in terms of some of the impacts that folks have had in these hospitalizations, it's led to some, you know, very, very severe conditions, and you have, you know, you want to take that burden off of the folks that are caring for you to have to figure out, you know, what are, what are your wishes in that time. So. Uh, better to take care of that now than when you're in the ICU. And uh, it's always tough to think about these things. And it's kind of like one of those things folks don't want to do. So uh, at least MetLife made it free. And uh, if you go to the website, I think we've got the information on the screen. You can get to a, a self-help library. You can com actually complete the documents yourself. You can have an attorney review them. And it's just a great service that, you know, I think folks realize is kind of now is the time to have these kinds of conversations, right? So. Yeah, no, I really agree. And I actually have a personal testimonial about the legal service because I, I'm i a single mom, working mom, and I paid a lot of money to one of those other not to be named legal online legal services uh, to do a will. And it never happened. It was a, almost a year long process fighting with them to try to get what I needed and finally resulted in just, I just said, give me my money back because it wasn't worth it. And um, I signed up for the free Union Plus legal service and 
it was totally different. It was just wonderful and, and really a great product. So I personally can, can testify to how great that service is that every union member should take care of it. It's free. And then there's the, you can add on to that if you wanna pay an additional fee and get some a more robust legal service. There's also a benefit that Union Plus has negotiated for that, um, that you can read all about on the website, on our website or the Union Plus website. But I would definitely personally recommend that every steelworker member look into that service. Mitch, there are a lot of other things that Union Plus do as well. So besides those, what are some other discounts that people should look into? Well, I just say thank you for that testimony on the legal thing first. That was great. I'm glad you uh, glad you did that and had that good experience with it. So, uh, you know, right now, I mean, just some, sort of the straight up, uh, you know, discounts that we have that are, that are super useful. Uh, you know, certainly while we're all in this work at home, stay at home, stay safer at home, you know, mode, uh, I'm finding that the streaming services and the demand on our Wi-Fi and, and uh, you know, between folks gaming and, uh, you know, watching TV and everything else, uh, the AT&T discount's pretty pretty relevant right now. So uh, they just increased the benefit for, you know, for AFL-CIO union members, you know, USW2. Um, you know, unlimited elite, you get $10 off, you know, per month per line, which is a pretty good deal. That that basically is like getting free HBO uh, on the line, which is which is good, and also a higher quality streaming service. And, you know, AT&T, you know, fully unionized uh, national wireless carrier there. So, uh, you know, good to support a union company and, uh, you know, they've been good partners for us. So we're, you know, we're pretty happy with that one. And I would recommend people look into that if you need to, uh, you know, up your Wi-Fi capabilities, up, up your streaming capabilities and keep everybody, uh, you know, at school and entertained and everything else, you know, during this period of time. Um, you know, the, another good one is the Union Plus Deals app. This is something that uh, certainly in more normal times is, is super useful. It's uh, in the App Store under Union Plus Deals, and uh, it's, it's all, you know, geolocation based. Um, you can get discounts wherever you are. You can see, you know, uh, you know, restaurant discounts, quick service discounts, you know, car wash, uh, auto repair, that kind of thing. So uh, very useful in it probably, like I say, in a more normal economic environment. Right, right. And I want to get to some of our questions, Mitch. Some of, We have a lot of questions coming in through the feed, and so I'm going to pause um, and, and get to some of those. Thanks to everyone who's tuning in, and if you have questions, please do put those in the comment sec section, and we'll try to get to as many as we can. We have a few people asking a, about uh, interest rates, some talking about the credit card and, and others talking about uh, the mortgage. Um, particularly, are there any um, uh, benefits with the mortgage for first time home buyer. And I also have a personal experience with that. I will not talk about it though. I'll let you answer and then I'll give my testimony. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we have uh, the mortgage program. Um, you know, probably the, 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 one of the newer things we have here is uh, we did start our own mortgage company. So we have the Union Plus Mortgage Company, uh, which is operating in I think about 25, 27 states, uh, including DC. And um, you know that that is actually a union-owned alternative in the mortgage space. So uh, the AFL-CIO uh, owns the company, as do a whole bunch of affiliate unions own it, and the loan officers are also unionized staff. So you know, they've really uh, pulled this together to have union members serving union members in the mortgage market. And there are benefits for first-time home buyers. So there's some additional uh, gift card at closing. There's also uh, a benefit for veterans, so veterans, active duty veterans that uh, uh, have completed their you know, active duty service are able to get a veterans grant when they buy a home. So, uh, and that's stackable. So you can be a veteran buying your first time home, and it's it's a great it's a great benefit. So, um, you know, we're really proud to have those those programs out there. We do see a lot of folks that are using that mortgage company for their you know the first time home purchase, and uh, the rates are competitive. They they're basically uh, you know competitive with the market and what's out there. So. Uh, we're really proud of that alternative and definitely you know want to make sure people are aware of you know union plus mortgage company right and ryan is asking ryan andreas is asking about the the question and i would encourage you ryan to go to our website and there's a link on there to the mortgage company webpage. there's a, a toll-free number that you can call and talk to someone from the mortgage company your personal situation depending on your personal situation that depends on what your you know, your loan will look like. Um, but I know I personally, and lots of folks I know in the union movement have used the Union Plus Mortgage Company. And as Mitch said, it's 
fellow union workers on the other line of that phone working with you. They understand union workers. They understand the kind of work that we do. Um, and they will work with you one on one. It's a very personal service. They'll call you back whenever um, is convenient for you to help you walk through that process. So I would encourage you. I know we're posting the URLs on the screen to, to go to that website and get the phone number and uh, talk to someone who can give you some more personalized information. Uh, we'll get to more of the questions in a minute, uh, but I want to get back to some of the things that are available for our members. But we have a lot of folks in the steel workers and other unions who are still working every day. They're they're part of those essential workers who we all so appreciate right now. Uh, but unfortunately, we also have a lot of members who are laid off right now or who aren't working right now and, and their worlds have been turned upside down. Can you talk a little bit about um, what products or programs are out there for some of our laid off families that they may be able to utilize right now? Yeah, thanks, Connie. I mean, uh, the free college program probably would be the number one thing that's that's coming to mind, right? So uh, interest in this is just really, you know, skyrocketed. Um, in March, April, and, and now we're almost done with the month of May uh, timeframe. So, yeah, there's so many ways to use this program, and it's a great opportunity for members that are that are looking to, you know, retrain or perhaps, uh, you know, get a get a college degree, um, or help their their kids, you know, get through college. So, uh, as a reminder, I mean, I think you guys did a Facebook Live uh, with the Free College team not too long ago, but, um, you know, as a reminder, this is uh, it's no cost to the member. It's a free associate's degree program, you know, through Eastern Gateway Community College, accredited, uh, you know, public school and University of Ohio system. And, um, you know, we also have, have launched now a bachelor's completion program, uh, which will let you complete the four-year degree. And that's also, they've moved to no cost. So, uh, as I mentioned kind of earlier, we definitely have had some providers that have stepped up uh, to really, you know, look for ways to help um, you know, union members, you know, in this time of need, give them a little bit extra. There's also some additional, uh, you know, financial assistance available if folks need it. So uh, it's a great program that people really should check out and think about for retraining. And I'll just mention that, you know, we've had so many folks take advantage of this that, that we've helped save uh, or helped union members avoid over $140 million in, in student loan debt. So. This is just a fantastic program to, you know, to really help people manage that cost, avoid student loan debt, you know, and get the get the degree. So, um, you know, I'm sure you've had lots of folks take advantage of it, but it's it's a really cool program. It's so cool that so many of our members don't believe that it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things that every time we talk about it, people are like, wait, what's the catch? Like, it can't possibly truly be free. Wait, you mean my son can take it? My daughter can take it? Um, it is really true, uh, we promise you. And that that's another thing that I think is really cool about Union Plus is that you vet these programs so carefully that you really can trust them. As a union member, you can trust that these programs are legit, there are no strings attached, and these are really great benefits for union families because you've done the work to make sure that it's the best thing we can offer our members. Oh, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. I mean, th this one, same thing. We had the same reaction that this, you know, is too good to be true. But actually, this one's been a very carefully vetted program. It started in, in 2015 with one of the AFSCME uh, unions in Ohio, and then AFSCME brought it out in, in 2016. Uh, you know, they further vetted it, really. They, they kind of went first on this, and then we brought it out to the other unions, uh, you know, shortly after that. So, uh, it's been through a lot of different touch points uh, to make sure that, you know, they're, they're treating members well and it's going well. And uh, like I said, they've now been able to expand to the four-year program. And uh, we have somewhere in this presentation the logo slide. So when you think about kind of managing, you know, student loan costs, the, the credits are transferable. Uh, and we've got, you know, a whole bunch of different institutions up there. I'm sure you can pick uh, your favorite and also maybe your rival from, uh, college football days, but uh, we've had lots of folks transfer credits to other institutions and continue on, you know, from there if that's what they want to do. So uh, just a really fun program to be a part of and, and something that we're really happy that, you know, that the union is making possible for, you know, for its members to uh, get this kind of education and kind of training. So It's a wonderful benefit. And for those of you who missed it, we did have a Facebook Live a few weeks ago with uh, the free college folks that went into a lot more detail and answered a lot of the 
the questions about the program. So that's on our Facebook page and our video library. If you want to go check that out um, at your convenience, you can learn lots more information about free college. Um, Mitch, what else uh, would you like to share with us tonight? We have lots of questions coming in, so we'll save time for those questions. But before we do that, what else do you want to talk about? You know, I, I just mentioned a couple of things real quick, um, then we go to go to the question. So, you know, along the lines of education, we just completed our our annual scholarship uh, program. So we gave out three hundred thousand dollars in in scholarships this year uh, to about two hundred and fifteen uh, you know, applicants, uh, you know, mostly union members, or or mostly actually, I would say probably uh, you know, kids of union members, right? So some really really great stories and just some super smart kids that are going to get those awards and. We're happy to do that. It was a little more money than we gave out the previous year, so we're just trying to do, you know, whatever we can to kind of get, you know, more more assistance out there and, and more help into the membership. Um, you know, I think we hit most of the programs, and, and I'd say Connie, you guys just do a great job with the steel workers of, you know, you know, helping us get the word out and getting the word out to your membership on the various members. So uh, it's a real pleasure to be here tonight, and happy to answer, you know, any questions to the best of my ability as they as they come in. So. Great. Well, thank you. We have a lot coming in, so I'll try to get to them. If we sure. don't get to your question uh, before we end this evening, please leave it in the comments and we'll get back to you one on one uh, if we don't respond uh, this evening. Um, so Tracy, Tracy asked a question. I think we answered your question, Tracy, about uh, is this like a credit card? So obviously Union Plus is more than just the credit card. All those programs that Mitch talked about, free college, the discounts, the free legal aid. Um, all of that is is more is available through Union Plus, so it's not just a credit card. So I think that we answered. Gordon Porter wants to know if Union Plus is, applies to our Canadian members. Yes, we do. So it, it's a uh, uh, not not quite the full uh, selection of products and services, but we do have the the, the college programs available to Canadian members. Uh, and also the you know the family eligibility there that goes with it, um, car rental, entertainment, um, flowers, vacation tours, our travel uh, piece that we have on the on the entertainment side to the hotels. That's pretty much the list of what's available in Canada. So you know some benefits, and obviously you know you can book the car rental and use it in the U.S. too. So uh, it works cross border. Right. And if any of our Canadian siblings who are watching tonight have specific questions about specific programs, reach out to us at the new media email address or through our Facebook page, and we can uh, work with you one-on-one -on -one to figure out what you're eligible for. Uh, Tanya DeVore, she wants to know about the Union Plus mortgage. Is the, Are the Union Plus mortgages sold to other financial institutions after you close on it? I think I know the answer to that, but I'll let you answer. Yeah, 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 they can be. So uh, the, the company is set up as a, as a mortgage broker, which means uh, they're finding the, the lender for you. Um, and then on the on the back end of that, you know, it, it can happen that they sell the mortgage. So uh, the servicing could change. So, yeah. Uh, Ryan has another question about, uh, I think this is more a question for us, about how our members find their member ID number to uh, utilize some of these benefits. Ryan, have uh, your fellow members write our Facebook page or call uh, the international headquarters. They can ask for local union services and someone can help the members find their member ID uh, so that they can use that for what they need to apply for. So either write us through Facebook or call uh, or you can get in touch with your, your staff rep. Um, anybody who works for the union can help you figure out what your union ID is. Uh, if you have your union card, your union ID, member ID is on that union card. You can also find your member ID on your USW at Work magazine if you happen to get that. In the mail, your member ID appears on the mailing label. Uh, so there are a couple different ways to find that, but if you need help, just get in touch and we'll walk you through it. Ruth Cooley, she wants to know, can her granddaughter use free college? And the answer is yes. So yeah, the great thing about free college is the eligibility is is wide. So um, it's, it's you know, kids, grandkids, parents, siblings, um, you know, dependents in the family, spouses. So re really, you know, trying to just have this, you know, great benefit that the union makes possible and then kind of, you know, sharing the the wealth a little bit with the, with the family members. So yet, yes on the, the granddaughter. Right, and we have a lot of members. Um, the free college benefit, 
if you, a lot of folks when they graduate, they don't know what they want to do yet, right? And college is so expensive. So if you have a child or a grandchild or a niece or a nephew who doesn't know what they want to do yet, encourage them to do the free college, the two-year program, because those are basic college courses that will apply to a four-year degree. So they can get those courses out of the way for free while they're figuring out what they want to do and then transfer into a four-year university and you've cut the cost of that education in half um, because you're a Steelworker member. And, and also I should point out that it's also, we're making this available to our retirees as long as you're a member of SOAR. Um, so our Steelworker retirees can also offer this benefit to their grandkids, their kids, uh, others in their family. So it's a really, really great benefit. Um, we have some questions coming in, Mitch, about organizing and how Union Plus tools could be used to help our steelworker members organize. Yeah, I'd, I'd say right now, um, you know, sort of staying on the, the theme of, of the free college, that, that really uh, has been a great organizing tool for folks. So, um, you know, it, it's a program. And like you said, you kind of have to cut through the, it's too good to be true, but it's a benefit that is available to union members and, and not available, you know, to the you know, not union members, right? Not part of that union mm -hmm. family. So uh, we certainly have other examples of, of folks using that as an organizing tool specifically, um, you know, in, in their campaigns. Some of the other products, you know, you, the, the mortgage assistance program, the credit card job loss grant program, um, you know, those are organizing tools in a way because they, they these are the only really, you know, the only credit card, the only mortgage that has your back in a time of need. So, um, you know, it, it's it's what makes it different, what makes it special. Uh, it's probably a little bit more difficult message to communicate in an organizing sense than free college. So I would kind of I kind of lean into the free college more. Uh, but it is important. Those hardship benefits are for union members, and that's why that's why you'd want to have the product versus just another credit card, right? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it is that's helpful too. Right. There's so, there's a union difference with these products, and I can speak to that question. Um, you know, we do a lot of work with our next gen activists and. It's really great with someone who's new to the union, who's still trying to figure out the benefits of, of this union family and what makes it so special. And not just discounts and things like that, but real solidarity and what it means to have each other's back. And, and in a way, these products extend that solidarity into everyone's home life because you can take your kids to the movies and you get a discount because you're a steel worker. You can go to Disney and get a discount because you're a steel worker. God forbid if something happens and you get laid off or you're on strike or you're locked out, you cannot pay your mortgage because you're a steel worker. Uh, so it really is uh, something different than just a normal product. And if you download that app that Mitch mentioned, you'll see that there are discounts at restaurants. Like, and the app will give you a notification if you're driving down the road and you pass a restaurant that has a Union Plus discount, you'll get a notification that says, oh, you can get 10% off uh, at this restaurant. Um, so it is really surprising how many benefits you get because you're a steel worker and you can extend those discounts to your family and you think about organizing and, and trying to convince people to be active in the union you know we're not giving these away to freeloaders if you don't pay your dues if you're not a dues paying member you're not getting these benefits you have to be a, a steel worker who's who's paying dues or who's a, a an active retiree so if you're looking for ways to engage your membership engage new and young people who are coming to the locals, Union Plus is a really great tool to do that. And if you need information, materials, um, help with that, again, contact the new media department and we can help get you what you need to talk about Union Plus. Um, Mitch, we have a, a question from Steffi Domike who wanted you to talk a little bit more about the Union Plus credit card and some of the, the features that make it unique for union members. Yeah, sure. So we've got, there's actually three different credit cards. So, uh, you know, they're on the website and basically there's one that's got 1.5% uh, cash back. So pretty, pretty straightforward uh, cash back credit card, you know, good, good value proposition for uh, folks that are, uh, you know, highly credit worthy, I would say, and um, it's, it's not capped. So it's a good, you know, cash rebate card. We've got uh, another card that's in, in kind of in between for, uh, you know, your, your balance transfers, you need to borrow it at a, at a lower rate. And then we've got a credit card that's got, um, you know, more, more basic. So you're kind of new to credit or uh, maybe you're trying to, you know, rebuild credit. You know, that, that's kind of a 
more straightforward, you know, plain vanilla credit card, if you will. So um, those are the three options that we have. Capital One is the credit card issuer behind that. And, you know, they go through their underwriting to, you know, approve folks for the cards or decline them for the cards. And then, as we mentioned, all of them come with that, uh, you know, the job loss benefit and the hardship assistance program. So that's really, you know, part of the key uh, benefits and features that are part of the credit card program. Wonderful. Pat O'Connell, she wants to know, are the colleges shown the only ones you are aware of that accept the transfer credits from the free college program, or are there others? Yeah, I, th I think there's, uh, at this point, like 900 or something. So no, we, we couldn't fit them all on the slide. But, uh, you know, th those are all representative of, of colleges that have taken uh, credits from Eastern Gateway, or actually, the, you know, it's where students have transferred their credits from the from the school to this other school. So, uh, they're, it's pretty widely available in terms of uh, colleges that will take take those transfer credits. So it's it's a really, like Connie said before, it's a great way to manage, you know, the first two years of your college experience and cost. Right, right. And for those who are looking with the new four year program now through Central State in Ohio, um, you know, even if you're looking to just do something for fun. Um, right now it's free. Uh, it may uh, be low cost in the future, but it's free for now. So, you know, why not it, as a union member take advantage of, of those benefits? I have, I think, one more question and we'll see if any more come in. Um, Ruth is wondering about pet insurance. Is, is Union Plus still offering pet insurance? We do. We have we have pet insurance, and I, I have it for Oliver. So uh, <laughs> he's, he's an older dog, so you know it's starting to uh, you know get more expensive as he gets older. But uh, yeah, we have it. It's a great product, and actually, it's uh, uh, one of those ones that for you know for some reason during the pandemic, we've seen a little more interest in in pet insurance too. So people are, I guess, you know, spending time at home with the pets and, and realizing that they need a little protection too. So. Right, and they're part of our family. We love yeah. our steel worker pets. I don't see any more questions coming in live. We've covered a lot. Uh, if anyone has questions that, that you think of later, feel free to reach out. Uh, you can look at the websites. Uh, like I said, we can send you some more information, but these really are real products, no catch, made just for union members and their families. Uh, so I encourage you to check them out. Mitch, thank you so much for joining us. Do you have any closing words? No, Connie, it's a real pleasure to be here. And, uh, you know, you said it earlier, too, we just, our, you know, we're really uh, our hearts go out and we're behind all those essential workers that are that are part of your steelworker family. So we wish everybody uh, to you know stay safe, stay healthy and uh, do what you have to do to stay safe. So uh, thanks again for having me on. Really appreciate the time with, with you and the, the gang here. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for all you do. And thanks to the Union Plus staff for all they do. We appreciate them as well. Thanks, Connie. Good evening, everyone.